Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am really, really freaking excited to do this one. And to be honest, it's a video that I'm kind of shocked that I haven't done up until now. So last year, 2022 was my very first low buy year. And there's no like set rules for a low buy year. Whatever you want it to be is what it can be. But I made myself a certain amount of rules just to follow myself so I could kind of keep myself on track. And one of my big rules that I took throughout the year and I'm taking into this year and into life in general is to use the good stuff. What I mean by that is that we all have things in our collection and this might not just be a makeup collection. Maybe you collect perfume, maybe you collect shoes, maybe you collect squishmallows, okay? Whatever it is that you collect, I feel like we all have those certain things in our collection that we look at and we love so, so much, but it's almost like we're scared to use them because we don't want to ruin them. We don't want to use them up. We don't want anything to happen to those. So we're taking these things that we absolutely love and putting them on a shelf and doing nothing with them. I know it's definitely like that with me for makeup. So today I am going to use the good stuff. I am going to use all of the products in my collection that I know that I can look at and honestly say I should be using those more. I know I love these products and even if they're discontinued, even if they're gone, even if I can never get them again after today, I need to use them and love them and appreciate them. Now there are gonna be some people who absolutely hate this video, okay? Because a lot of these items, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're discontinued. You can't buy them anywhere. So maybe maybe I'm jumping on the de-influencing train. No, I'm, I, I'm not jumping on any trains at the moment. But again, I will be using items that are discontinued. Not all of them, but some of them definitely are. I'll link as many as I can down below if these are things that you wanna pick up for yourself. But again, a lot of these you kinda can't find anymore, but I'm using them because I want to use the good stuff. Also, what do you think of my new background? I'm still working on it. I'm still excited. Like there's gonna be a lot more happening back there because I don't know where this like kind of maximalist design part of me came out when we moved into this house, but it is raging. But you ready to see what's back there? Also, I did a vlog setting this all up, so I don't know if that's out yet by the time this one comes out, but <gasps> they're little eyeballs. <laughs> I did wallpaper myself and a gesture with my hands. I'm super excited about it though, and that again, it's gonna be changing a little bit, but okay, we're gonna jump into this. I have face products, I have eye products, I have lip products, all these things that I need to be using more, and I'm even going to wear a pair of earrings that I never wear because I'm like scared of ruining them. All right, let's go ahead and start with complexion. So the thing that I wanna start with as my base, this is something that is not discontinued, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I don't know why I don't use this more than I do because it's one of my favorite products. This along with the Auric Glow Lust, I love putting this on my skin before I do any foundation. It just gives the skin a beautiful glow and it makes for me personally a nice base. I do have dry to normal skin, definitely leaning towards dry. So take that into consideration, but I just, I love this and I wanna really use it more. I wanna use it up. I've definitely had it for a long time. I don't quite know why I put this in some areas. Like why do I put it on my mustache area when I am just going to powder the hell out of that because that's like an area I don't want to be shiny. See how it just makes the skin look like dewy and healthy and fresh and festive and fruity fresh. Okay, so for foundation, this is my favorite foundation of all time, but it has been discontinued, which yes, that probably means I should have gotten rid of these a long time ago, but they are still good, I do know that. I've used them somewhat recently within the last like couple months. But I always look at these on my shelf and I'm like, I should use that. And I'm like, no, I don't wanna use it up because I can never get it again unless I'm gonna buy it on some like resale site. So that is the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. This is a dewy mother effing foundation. There is nothing full coverage about this. There is nothing matte about this. I love this foundation so much. I have it in two colors. I have 10 and 40. I believe I have a backup of one of these. It might be 40, which is definitely too deep for me. But like over and over again, I always want to use this foundation and then I don't because it will run out. So today we are using it, folks. So I always mix these and you can probably see from it running down, it does have a more thin consistency. And I am just, you know what? I'm gonna use my hands, which I know grosses out a lot of people, just to kind of dot this all over my face. 
I even love how hydrating it feels just when I'm doing this part of it. I'm gonna start with a brush. As I'm doing this, I want you to tell me down below, what is the good stuff in your collection? Whatever, again, whatever kind of collection that is, what is the stuff that you know you should be using more, that you should be really appreciating more than you do? Like that pair of shoes that you're like, no, I have to save that for a really special occasion. Like, what is that thing that maybe you can force yourself to use this week? Whatever it is, maybe you're going to the grocery store and you want to wear that bright ass red lip with those beautiful Jimmy shoes. I don't know. Every time I get ready to use this foundation, I'm like, you know what? Maybe this time it's gonna look bad. Maybe this is when it's gone bad or something. And every time I'm so in love with the way it looks, it evens out my skin tone. It keeps that glow, but it doesn't look greasy. Everything about this foundation is kind of my ideal. And also I did one pump from each and there is so much left. I will go ahead and add a little bit more because that would be truly wasting it. God, it is February in Maryland and it's gonna be 80 degrees this week, which is, unheard of, but it also means that some of the trees are starting to like bud, which means my allergies are going crazy. So I keep using that as an excuse to be like, oh, it feels so good. And there we have it, my perfect foundation. It is still my perfect foundation. It is still what I feel the best in, what I feel the most confident in. And again, like, I'm really sad. Like, I know there are other wonderful foundations out there. I know they exist, of course they do. I have some that I really love, but none that I love as much as this one. For concealer, I've talked about this before, but I have a complete love-hate relationship with concealer because my end-all be-all concealer has also been discontinued, and that is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This concealer is creamy and light coverage. And when I say creamy, I mean like it almost feels like a lotion which is my ideal and I'm having trouble finding that and I've had a bunch of you recommend some great things to me that I still need to try as soon as this tube is gone but this tube is one where I find myself not as willing to use it as often and I go for the one that I don't like as much because oh god once I use this up it's gone forever yes it's gone forever and there will be another concealer out there that I love maybe even not just as much but that I really do enjoy so it's no point just holding on to it until it goes bad because then I'd be even more pissed if I didn't use it and it just went bad and went completely to waste. And you probably can't even tell the difference. And to be honest, that's the way I like my concealer. I'm not somebody who likes it super white bright under the eyes. I like it to be basically my skin tone, maybe like a half shade lighter just to brighten it up a tiny, tiny bit. But I just want it to cover up, you know, any dark circles or give my skin an even canvas and this does that and I'm sad that it's gone but again I need to use it more I need to really appreciate it more by using it more oh also this little ghosty I hope he's still available I'm gonna try to link him down below because I have trouble finding sponges that I like and I've really really liked this one and as much as I love a beauty blender this is from a more indie company so if this is still available I'll try to link it down below okay we're gonna go with a bit of a controversial one because people either love this product or hate it I love it and it has not been discontinued, but it is never in stock. So I'm convinced that as soon as I use it up, it's not gonna be in stock for a very long time. And then, oh God, what happens if I don't have it? Then I don't have it, okay? So I have not been using it as much as I want to because I'm so scared of not having it. And that makes literally zero sense. It's like I'm not using it because I'm afraid of not being able to use it. What? That is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and I am almost finished with it, to be honest. It is very, very low in the tube. And I think that this is one thing that TikTok is specifically railing against and saying like, nobody needs this. No, you don't need any makeup, okay? But this is something I absolutely love. For me, a couple dots gives the perfect contour for me. I use very little of it and I just, I need to keep that in mind also. I, yeah, today, by the way, we're going under the jaw. If my hair is gonna be up, we're going under the jaw a little bit. But I need to keep that in mind. I use so little of this, so it's kind of like, why would I not be using it if I'm barely using it? <laughs> this kind of thing really is eye-opening for me on my low buy and just in life in general. It's like, why? save this stuff that you love? Why save that perfume for a date night or something like that when you could just wear it sitting at your desk on a Tuesday and just feel amazing? 
I say that as I'm filming this on a Tuesday. You know what? I'm gonna do a spritz of perfume as well. See, some people might not care, but this just makes me feel better. I love how it kind of sculpts the face a little bit, and I'm not doing any drastic contouring over here. I'm not desperately trying to change the shape of my face. I'm just trying to kind of bring out what's already there. It just makes me feel good, okay? Now, let's move on to my bronzer. Now, this is something I do use pretty often, but each time I use it, I'm very aware that it could run out in any second. And if it runs out in any second, I have to buy it again. And oh my God, this was expensive. What am I gonna do? But it lasts so long that I should still be using it. So anyway, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun-Kissed Cream Bronzer. Again, I feel like a lot of people might have a love, why was I gonna tap this? It's cream. People might have a love-hate relationship with this, but I just, I love the way it blends onto my skin. I love the glow that it gives. It just makes me feel more alive and just kind of put together. Okay, before we move on to the eyes, it's time for powder. Now, I'm not a big powder person. I only have two of them, but there's one that I gravitate towards really often and another one that sits there. And the reason it sits there is not because it's any worse. I actually like it better, but it's more expensive. So I'm scared of using it up and having to buy it again and having to buy it again, obviously. That is, God, did I just, yeah, three Charlotte Tilbury's in a row. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. You can see it's like, I don't know, it's more than halfway gone at this point, but I love this powder. It is very light. It is very like lightweight, I mean, and I just, I love the way it feels on the skin and I feel like this sets my makeup longer than the other powder that I use sometimes, which is the Kosas, uh, Kosas powder, Cloud Set powder. And I just, I love the way it looks. I love the way this one looks. I feel like it sets the face, but it keeps some of that glow where you need it. It's amazing, and this, again, is still available, so I don't know why I don't use it more. I lied. Before I go to the eyes, I'm just going to go to the eyebrows real quick. I'm going to do that off camera because I feel like it's boring. I'm going to use the same products I always use, kind of. I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This I do use often. This is not a use the good stuff, but this one is kind of a use the good stuff. Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. I really enjoy this, and this is what made me really like a brow that looked laminated. And I went to using the NYX Brow Glue, which I absolutely love. But the reason I use that one every day is because it's like half the price of this one when I still really enjoy this one. So today I'm using this one. I have a little hair somewhere on my face and I feel it and I can't see it. Pet owners, you get me. Well, that was an interesting experiment because I think that this lamination gel is kind of on its last legs. And that's my fault because I haven't been using it. It's not dead yet. I'm going to continue to use it. And you know what? Maybe this is going to be the only thing I use for a while rather than the NYX Brow Glue because that's not going bad. This one is slowly on its way out. Great. Good job, Linda. Good job. For the eyeshadow palette. I will say off the bat, this one has been discontinued, okay? And once in a while, it does pop up every so often. It's almost like the company has found a box somewhere and they'll put it up and it'll be up for like 10 minutes and then go away or something again. So, I mean, if I happen to see it anywhere, I will link it down below, but I don't know. That is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Anyway, this palette is kind of, oh, it's so beautiful. Obviously it's, it's gold. It's heavily gold and brown and beautiful and stunning. And I love it so much every time I've used it, but I'm always scared to use it. And that's got to end today. I want to start by taking Aria, which is this just light brown. The look is going to be fairly neutral today, obviously very gold leaning, but I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and in the crease. I'm gonna move over my mirror, which you might see, sorry. I feel bad in a way that there are some of you who say that Natasha Denona shadows just don't work for you because every time I use them for me, it's just like the color is just so pretty and blendable and it just is, it makes makeup so easy for me personally that I just, I literally feel bad that it doesn't work for everyone because I want it to.
Now my only gripe with this palette is that I feel like it doesn't have a really, really mid-tone brown because you've got these two, which are very similar, if we're being honest, that are light browns, and then a dark brown. This is kind of the closest you get to a mid-brown, and that color is teak. So forgive me, uh, my brush is a little stained, but I'm going to take teak on kind of a more defined brush, and I'm gonna use this as my definition and crease color. You see, you can barely you can barely tell the difference there in, well, wait, never mind. Yes, you can, you can definitely see more definition. So you can probably see it just adds a little bit more of that deepness, a little bit more definition. And again, the colors just blend so easily together. Why am I not using this more? We went over that, Linda. That's what this whole video has been about. Okay. Then I'm going right down the line. I'm gonna go into Log with the same brush. I'm gonna only tap it in a little bit because this color is definitely deeper. And that's gonna be my deepest outer corner and crease color. Oh, I love this color. It's very smoky. I'm gonna take this same brush that has a little bit of both of those colors left on it and just pull that under the eyes. I feel like I could even stop there, but I'm not going to because we're using the gold palette. So we're going gold, okay? Which gold though? So we've got brass, which is this almost green leaning, beautiful shimmery gold. We have kava. Hmm, I'm not gonna use kava because kava is beautiful, but it's more of a topper shade. We also have Oro, which is a very, very creamy, like yellow gold. Ooh, yellow gold or this like greeny gold. And then what about Alchemist? I haven't tried that one yet either. That one is a very true bronzy gold. Okay, wait, wait. So it's either gonna be Brass or Alchemist. You know what, let's go Brass today. We're going Brass. So Brass is definitely a bit of a chunkier color, so I do prefer to use it wet. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid. That's another thing that I find with myself is if I really like a palette, I feel like I shouldn't use a lot of the shadow. Like I should put it on very gently rather than like, why? I don't pan eyeshadows that often. So it's like, just use as much as you want to make the color as beautiful and intense as it can be. Like, look at how foiled this shade is when I really use like enough of it and I use it wet and it's just, oh my God, I'm just, I'm just in love. See, I just feel good in this. I'm gonna go back though with that deepest color and I really wanna deepen this edge a little bit more to keep that smokiness. Right, so this really is like kind of a wake up call if I'm being honest, because I just should be using these more. Now I am gonna tight line just with black liner uh, on the upper water line and the lower water line. But for my actual liner today, I was going to use just a black liquid liner, but I think I wanna keep this smoky and just put some dark shadow on my upper lash line. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna smudge it in and I'll be right back. See, I really like how just kind of smoky that made that. I think, mm, I love that. I love this eye look. I love it. I'm also gonna go ahead and do my mascara off screen because I'm just using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And to be honest, mascara is one thing that I do feel like I have been doing better with just using what I have, whether it's discontinued or whatever it might be because I just wanna use them up, okay? Oh, I am loving this so far. Okay, so. For blush, this one is going to surprise some of you. Not because you don't know that I like it, probably because you know that I love it, okay? And that's why it's gonna surprise you. That is the Melt Cream Blush Light in Lynx. The reason I'm including this one is because for the last month, month and a half, two months, I have found myself not using this one as often because it has hit pan. Now, if this runs out, where can I find this again? Everywhere, okay? This is still very much available at Sephora, on Melt site, this is very available. So why am I keeping myself from using my very favorite blush? Now, yes, I do wanna use other things in my collection and I don't want it to all just be about one thing, but if this is my favorite, if this makes me feel so good, why don't I use it every damn day? I've talked about this specific blush since the day it came out because this is the one, I feel like this is such a sleeper hit too because it is this bronze rose gold 
lovely. It's a shimmer formula, so it really brightens up the face. It adds life to the face. And it really goes well with this kind of gold bronzy look. I don't know. I feel like it even brings out my eyes. Like, I love everything about this one. Every single thing about this blush I'm obsessed with. Okay, great. Now we have highlighter and then lips. This highlighter is not only discontinued, but a lot of people hated it. I did not hate it. I love it so much that every time I look at it in my collection, I'm like, no, you can't use it because you can't get it again. I'm just saying the same thing over and over. This is the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. And again, this one had some controversy to it because so many people said they hated this. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Especially when it comes to like gold looks. I just, I love it so much. It just, it's intense. She's intense. She's wearing highlighter today. She is wearing highlighter today. But I feel like it's always made my face look so alive and just like, oh, theme of this video, I need to be using this more. Last thing we're gonna do are the lips, okay? So I'm gonna start off with a lip liner that does still exist. I do use it often and I probably will buy a backup in case it gets discontinued, but that is the Melt Lip Liner in Cinnamon. I've talked about this plenty of times before. It's just a warm brown. For the lipstick, I have to be honest, I'm curious about this one because not only is this discontinued, it is long discontinued. Probably should have been tossed at this point, but it's one that survives every declutter of mine because I have such love for this color. But I'm wondering if it's been so long that the color either A, doesn't even look good on me anymore, or B, is dried out or nasty. That is the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors Aftermath lipstick, which is just this brown color that has been seen many times before. Is this even broken? No, okay, I thought it was broken. I have used a good amount. It doesn't look dried out. It doesn't look like there's anything growing on it, thank goodness, but this just was my favorite brown lipstick I had ever found, and it's so beautiful. I don't know if it says the finish. I believe it's considered to be a matte. Let's just do this. I still freaking love it. I still freaking love this color. It is not matte, it is a satin. It feels so good on. I just freaking love it. Okay, but we're gonna top it off with yet another discontinued lipstick, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Tarte Skinny Dip. This was from like the Color Splash line, and I have used this almost to the very end. It is just a very, very, very light tone. I don't use this often enough because again, discontinued. But this color I use to pat in the center to bring like dimension to lipstick so it's not flat looking, makes my lips look a little more plump. Mmm, God dang, that's delicious. Wow, okay, so this is the final makeup look. I feel amazing in this look. I feel amazing, but we're gonna top it off. I told you that I wanted to wear a pair of earrings, okay? I showed these in a video sometime, I think, last year, and I loved them so much, but I very rarely wear them because they're special occasion earrings. No, you know what? Today is a Tuesday. I always use Tuesdays, the random day. We're wearing them today. We're gonna wear them, and I'm going to rock the hell out of them. I've talked about these before. These are from a store called Caravanserai here in Baltimore City. That is my favorite store in all of Baltimore. It's my absolute favorite. And these, again, especially with like a ponytail and just, ooh, and then highlighter, like these make me feel amazing. Like so much to the point where I might take photos today outside. But that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I know, again, that a lot of these has been discontinued. So it's not like I'm saying you should go out and buy these things, but it's just more to convince all of us that we need to use the good stuff. Wear that perfume. Perfume, I said I was gonna put on perfume. Okay, perfume, sorry, today is a day this is not discontinued at all, but with all of my perfumes, I don't wear them unless I'm going out. But if I'm sitting at my desk, shouldn't I also just kinda wanna smell bomb? So it's Glossy AU, I'm going to wear this today. Oh, this is just so fresh and it does have a floral note to it, but it's sexy and oh my God, it's so good. If you haven't smelled it, you need to, but 
I hope this maybe has encouraged you to go into your collection, maybe today, and use something, even just one item that is the good stuff in your collection. We all need to use the good stuff. Again, I've said this before, we are on a rock flying through space. There are millions of us. There are millions of stars in the sky. There are millions of grains of sand on the ocean, billions, trillions, gazillions of all these things. And we're worried about what if my lipstick runs out and I can't get it again? Priorities, people. But that's it. If you liked this video, if you liked the concept of it, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. If you comment down below, any of those things really help out my channel. They help more people to see my videos. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always, and forever and ever and ever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.